Anyone who's ever watched any of my videos or favorites knows I've always been very critical of the Bush presidency. And not once did I get any real hate mail for being critical of President Bush. Now I just wonder, now that I'm holding the Obama administration accountable for their actions, as I did the previous administration, if people are going to assume I'm being critical for any other reason, then I simply disagree with his policies. I'm not a Republican, and I'm not a Democrat. I'm just a citizen that will be affected by his decisions. Sure, there are people that do not like Obama for his ethnicity, but be very careful about lumping every critic into that same category. For if it is your first knee-jerk reaction to immediately defend Obama, no matter what, then maybe it's you that needs to rethink your position on this administration. While he may not have been in office long, he has been hard at work, and he's been signing many checks with your family's name on them. What you're about to watch is a collection of clips dealing with the Obama administration and their new policies. These clips revolve around new warrantless wiretapping laws under the Obama administration. Also, if you thought nothing would be more fun than a strip search at an airport, the Obama administration wants to pass new laws that would empower security officials at airports and at other international borders to conduct random searches of laptops, MP3 players, and cellular phones for illegally downloaded or ripped music and movies. Travelers with infringing content will be subject to a fine and may have their devices confiscated or even destroyed. Now you can be searched with no probable cause whatsoever. You have no rights. And I hope all the people that watch this video will finally see that our civil rights are hanging by a thread. So if you thought a strip search was bad, wait till you hear about the new digital strip search that's on its way to being passed as we speak. All your emails, all your documents, and yes, all your images, copied and taken to their home office to look over, folder by folder, and file by file. Land of the free, huh? Well, unless you do something about it, that will be long gone. And I want you to ask yourself this question. If this is the first time you're hearing about this, it just goes to show that this news isn't as prevalent as Octomom. And if this is the case, then you really need to rethink where you get your news from now on. President Obama's Justice Department now not just defending Bush officials from lawsuits surrounding National Security Agency domestic spying, but seeking to expand the government's authority by making it immune from any legal challenge regarding wiretapping, ever. Welcome to change you cannot believe in or sue over. The you cannot any longer suggest that President Obama uh, is advancing the civil liberties and the privacy interests that he promised to advance. This is a terrible rollback and the people that support him in many different ways are going to have to come to grips and to tell the president they will not support him here mm -hmm. and they will not let him eviscerate privacy because of some cult of personality where he's so popular he can do anything. He can't do this because what he's frittering away are the rights that we all have as citizens. I think that right now the Bush people are bringing out their mission accomplished sign mm -hmm. because they've not only gotten Obama to protect uh, Bush and Cheney and others uh, from any criminal investigation on torture, but he's now gone even further than they did in the protection of unlawful surveillance. And so this is the ultimate victory for the Bush officials. They have Barack Obama uh, adopting the same extremist arguments and in fact exceeding the extremist arguments made by President Bush personal computer may soon be not so private, with the U.S. and some European nations working on laws allowing them access to search the content held on a person's hard drive. And Obama's, President Obama's administration is keeping unusually tight-lipped on the details, no more raising concerns among computer users and liberty activists, as Anastasia Churkina reports. Almost everyone owns a music player and a laptop. But what if the government decided to allow itself to get into these personal devices and for no specific reason whatsoever? In extreme secrecy from the public, no the United States is hammering out an international copyright treaty with several other countries and the European Union. Under the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement, or ACTA, governments will get sweeping new powers to search and seize material thought to be in breach of copyright. But why all the secrecy? No more secrecy. While the Obama administration calls this national security, Richard Stallman, prominent American software freedom activist, calls it a secret war on sharing. We wouldn't like it if we knew. 
They're trying to do policy laundering. Democracy gets bypassed, and they can do to us whatever they want. I can only guess that it's going to be nasty, because if it weren't going to be nasty, they wouldn't need to keep it a secret. No more secrecy. Up until now, the breach of copyright has been a civil matter. The Obama administration seems to now want to criminalize it. And even though recent reports suggest that on average, more than 800 illegally copied songs can be found on a teenager's music player, this has hardly ever been seen as a reason for national security concerns. But what it will do on a larger scale is let Big Brother watch you, however this time on a completely different level. Leaks of the text suggest that border guards will get unprecedented powers to search travelers without warning. They will be able to go through, copy, and confiscate any digital material a person has on their laptop. That means music, movies, and games, as well as any other personal material. I've heard people compare like your computer and the files on there to like going through your underwear drawer. So I don't think that people should be able to go, you know, I don't think the government should be able to go through your computer without a reason to be there. Obama, when he ran for office, and the Democrats have taken a stand for transparency. The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. And the way to make government accountable is to make it transparent so that the American people can know exactly what decisions are being ma made, how they're being made, and whether their interests are being well served. This um, legislation or this trade agreement is completely against it. The countries working on the treaty don't include important international players like China, Russia and Brazil. Some say modern America is being overtaken by a culture of surveillance. Just generally using the internet as it's intended should not be something people should be afraid of. And I think the actor again with its sort of culture of surveillance encourages and uh, is designed to you know put fear into people who are just trying to you know use the internet for perfectly legitimate purposes apart from the american government it is believed that movie video music and publishing industries are also behind the treaty since they would be the ones to profit from putting fear of being a criminal into internet users American civil liberties organizations have repeatedly asked for the details of the talks on the treaty and the document itself to be made public by the Obama administration, but to no avail. No more secrecy. ACTA was expected to come into force by the end of last year, but talks are still ongoing. What Barack and the Democratic Congress are going to do, and it's not that I'm a big fan of the Republicans. I mean, I'm not, right? I mean, the Republicans got us into this mess, too. But... Barack Obama is coming in there with this phony mandate uh, to do something for change. You know, I mean, somebody was, I, I, a video, somebody sent the YouTube clip to me, which showed back from the convention. It was some Obama supporters uh, at the convention, and they interviewed this woman, and the woman said, I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. I'm never going to have to worry about making my mortgage payment. Hallelujah, this is fantastic. Maybe this is what people think. No one has to worry about anything anymore because Barack Obama cares. He cares. And because he cares, he's going to make everything better. And he's going to do something, that the government can actually do something. And I even heard in the news that you know we're placing our faith for the future of the country in the hands of Obama. I mean, that shows how little people understand. The faith of our country in the hands of a politician, that's it. I mean, our country became great, not because of what politicians did, but because of what they didn't do. And this is going to be a very painful lesson that we're going to learn over the next four or five years. Hopefully we actually learn the real lesson, that it's government that's the problem, and that it's not the solution. This is going to be a nightmare. It is going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm convinced that by the end of the Obama term, nobody will be retired except the very rich. You know, and this is terrible. And the fact that he's very charismatic, and he's, you know, I don't want to take that away from him. He's a bright guy. Uh, that these are all things that are going to work against us because it's going to help him get his stuff through. But what concerns me is not his ethnicity. What concerns me is his policies. 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 You know, what his ideas, what he's going to do. I'll make our government open and transparent.
so that anyone can ensure that our business is people's business. Justice Louis Brandeis once said, sunlight is the greatest disinfectant. And as president, I'm going to make it impossible for congressmen or lobbyists to slip pork barrel projects or corporate welfare into laws when no one's looking. Because when I'm president, meetings where laws are written will be more open to the public, no more secrecy. That's a commitment I make to you as president. No more secrecy. Because I have a dream. But my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today.